Hey all, Gregor here with a brand new snap guide. We got some amazing lists from our friend Snap Judgments, or as you may know him, Pulse Glazer. These come from the creator gauntlet that's going on right now. So these were the finalists from the different regions. We got Safety Blade, Woody, and we got Teebs. I liked all of their lists, but I ended up really, really enjoying Safety Blade's list. Whenever Safety Blade cooks something, he cooks. He's a chef. I will include a link in the description. Go follow Safety Blade if you want amazing cooks. I always love getting a chance to play his stuff. So we uh, ended up playing a lot of that. It did pretty well for me. It was a really strong Wiccan list that utilized Marvel Boy along with cards that would guarantee that we would get what we needed as well as some really good three drops. I enjoyed it. And as always, if you enjoy the video, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and do all the things so the video gets pushed out to more people. I hope you enjoy the guide. Thanks for watching. As always, I like to include MVP highlights for some cards that were just standouts among these cards. Not all of these cards are needed. I will include sub options. But first off, we got Marvel Boy. Marvel Boy would get me a lot of cheeky little wins at the end because of his ability pops off at the you know, end of the turn. After each turn, give three of your one cost cards plus one power. That would often be the game winner for me. Also, big shout out to Copycat. Copycat not only provided intel, but she would also sometimes be win condition. For example, there was an Iron Man that we stole with Rogue that we were able to use Copycat right after because she had copied Mystique, giving us two Iron Men and winning us the game. So shout out to Copycat. Up next, has got to go to Wiccan. Just being able to ramp out two extra energy. That was off the a snap condition if I was able to hit it and just having the extra energy allowed me to pull off plays that I wouldn't normally be able to and would often be game winners for us. Last but not least, the Lyoth, the big fart cloud. Amazing if you could get Wiccan off because you would be able to play Eliath along with potentially two other cards if you played Hawkeye. Just huge value there and you were able to shut down a lane, often winning the game with that alone. This is Cobra Blade from Safety Blade. This deck runs Kitty Pride, Silver Sable, Maria Hill, Zabu, Hawkeye, Marvel Boy, Rogue, Copycat, Shang-Chi, Gwenpool, Wiccan, and Eliath. The cards that I'm going to say that you're probably going to need in this deck are going to be Kitty Pride, Maria Hill, and Shang-Chi, as well as Eliath. Those four you got to have. As for sub options for this deck, if you are missing, let's say, Hawkeye, you could do Mirage. If you are missing Zabu, you could do Psylocke. If you are missing Copycat, you could go either Cassandra Nova, Speed, or potentially Hope Summers. Those were three I had in the three cost slot. Same for Marvel Boy any of those cards could fit the marvel boy slot if you don't have you should have rogue but if you don't want to use rogue you could go red guardian and then if you are missing wiccan or gwenpool i suggested iron lad so those are some options the rest i'm going to say you're going to need for this deck to perform the way that you want it to perform as for play lines on turn one you want a maria hill if you have maria hill in hand maria hill gets you a guaranteed two drops so you still have that play line if you are going to get wiccan out on turn two i recommend that you play hawkeye or you do two one cost cards like zabu kitty silver sable kitty you get the idea lots of things with kitty pride because she always comes back on turn three you're going to drop down marvel boy i usually will hold on to copycat and rogue because those are often tech cards that can win us the game turn four you're going to gwenpool or wiccan depending if you got zabu out you could get wiccan out on three which is great value there. Gwenpool also amazing. What's cool about Gwenpool is the opponent doesn't know where that extra power is going, so it makes it very, very hard for them to guess how tall that you can go in a lane. Keep on, hold on to that Shang-Chi. Again, if you got your Zabu off, you would get Shang-Chi for three, you'd get Gwenpool for three, you'd get Wiccan for three. Um, Shang-Chi is, again, if you lose Pryo, end of game, take out their big cards, and then if you do get Wiccan and you, you know, you're playing correctly, you should have Pryo last turn, letting you Eliath the last play and a lot of the times I'm not gonna say all the time but a lot of the times your opponent will telegraph where they're gonna play their last play allowing you to Eliath and just ruin whatever they're gonna do so Eliath gets really really great value here give this a go I think safety blade went five and zero oh with this deck I, I don't think he lost a single game so you can play it correctly it is devastating give it a go let me know what you think and go give safety blade a follow well I'm really hoping to get Throg that's the goal. If I can get Throg, I think I'll be happy.
we have the Marvel Boy. I think it's better for us. I don't know. I'll do Wiccan because there's a chance that we can get something on two that'll work. I could also do Marvel Boy Kitty Pride. Almost. She is right below my Shang-Chi range. Now, if they decide to get greedy with it, they decide to get greedy with it, For however, I think I'll be fine. I am Iron Man. Lovely. Like I said, if they decide to get greedy with it, which allows me to do this nonsense, Which copies, this is Mystique, by the way. I think this might actually land. I am Iron Man. Wait a minute. Hilarious. I am Iron Man. We stole both. We stole their combo. Victory. We stole their entire combo. We stole Iron Man into a copycatted mystique. That's hilarious. Welcoming to newer players. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. So now the question is, are we going to get a two cost to drop on two? Or are we just out of luck here? Spider-Man point. So we are not going to hit Wicked on Curve, which is unfortunate. I don't know how necessary hitting Wicked on Curve is for this deck. Like, if that's retreat worthy. Now we get the two costs that I need. Okay, let's get Marvel Boy over here. So if we are competing for Warrior Falls... Oh, they're playing Bounce. If we are competing for Warrior Falls, that we would compete with Goliath. I think we're better off doing this. Hawkeye, Silver Sable. We have two cards that we can hit. We get other one cost cards. Hawkeye is only one power, so like we don't really need her. Unfortunately, she she could be sacrificed here. I do like the Chang Chi though. Lovely. I think we're going to go with this. That may have won it. That's their hit monkey there. 100%. By a point. Marvel Boy coming in so clutch, y'all. Marvel Boy coming in so clutch. That was all this guy. That was this guy. You can play her in Clog. You can play her in almost anything. Just value, you know? Okay, actually have a line where I can maybe hit Wicked on Curve. Is this the Kang? The Kang? And the thing is, I can I can sacrifice the arrows at Altar of Death. Whatever our next card is, it's going to get moved to Altar of Death if Los Diablos base doesn't destroy Altar of Death. You just got to keep playing. You will slowly unlock more cards as you play more. Wind, aid my hand. Are they War Machine Legion game in here? Wait a minute. The thing is, the grapple arrow pulls this too. 
I don't really care. Like, I, we're going to win that lane. And we have Shang-Chi ready to go. That probably hurts him pretty good, too. Oh, is that your war machine? Was that your war machine that you were going to play? That's unfortunate for you. So here's what I think we do here. Copycat hit their blink. So let's blink for something better here. We're going to blink out Maria Hill. They're really hoping that they hit Infinite. What are the odds, my guys? Well, if I play on curve perfectly... If I... Oh, and they clogged themselves. What just happened? They're clogged there. We're not clogged there. Hold up. Wait a minute, chat. Wait a minute. Okay, if we're going to move something, let's move that. Oh my god, this is so... Because I want to Angela. Hold on, we'll do this. Maximize the value. Send it. Full send it. Do rules all. The funny part is I still think we win here. Because Kitty gets... Wait, why did Grapple Arrow not work? Power must be controlled. Doesn't matter. I think we still win. But why did the Grapple Arrow not go off? Victory. I did grapple the Eliath, but Valley of the Hand brought it back. Wouldn't it reset it? Okay, actually, we have something perfect for the curve. So let's go Scorpion. Okay, I am going to Gwenpool, and then I am going to Wiccan. Wiccan on curve, insane value. I realized last night that getting Green Goblin emote feels very non-toxic. Well, yeah, you're like, it's like, oh my god, you pulled off that play. Like, look how funny the Green Goblin looks. It's hilarious. <laughs> See, ours, we got ours on curve. They did not. They're playing a toxic list. We hit their US agent. Value. This is a, this is a soul read right here. Wiccan's got the US agent. We could play that mid. Soul read. What a lovely target there for Rogue. Incredible value for Rogue there. And then that, because that's US agent over there. That's unfortunate for them. Unless they have a Lyoth. Cool with it. Did we just hit him with the casserole? Every single lane. See, and I'm not gonna... Victory. I'm not gonna emote them. If they want to fist bump me, I'll fist bump back. But I'm not gonna emote them on that. Okay, so I can go Maria Hill. And I can go Kitty Pride. Ravona Renslayer, does that even... I don't think it does anything for any of our cards. Maybe for the Marvel Boy? Copycat hit Cosmo. Oh, it's a Kingpin. Lovely. Which means they're probably going to do some Polaris shenanigans. So why don't I just do that? And that because I have Pryo going into this. And, uh... You know what? Just to make sure. Snap. Just a feeling. They have the Kingpin there. They're going to play Polaris here. 
I feel like Madam Web is also probably in their list. Maybe Juggernaut? Spider-Man. There the Juggernaut is. Called it. Luckily, Marvel Boy is going to make sure that we win these other lanes. Bam. Bam. I think we're kind of set here. Okay, so you can move your cards. This is a feeling that I'm having right now. I think that's the play right there. They can't move anything over here. Craven does get some of the you what? the buff here. Also, heads up, y'all. Ads are about to start shortly. That's fine. We're not worried about it. Nope, nobody to move. We are set. We are good. Thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. Also, the casserole. Victory. Honestly, the Marvel boy coming in very clutch. Hey, we love return players. Welcome on in. If you have any questions about cards, decks, meta, I love helping new players get there, you know? Hell yeah. Get get some of those Mayo emotes in there. If you have the ability to, let's Hawkeye over here. Double Zabus. I really wish I had gotten the Spotlight variant. Unfortunately, you can't get everything unless you spend a lot of money. That's the key to this game. Why hit my Zabu? I'm not gonna hit. I honestly am not sure. What's up, Nick? Well, come on in. Maybe they think I'm gonna hit it with misery. The fact that we hit this on curve, we're in a better spot than they are. I think we have enough to where we should be able to snap. Oh, snap. I think I'm confident snapping here. Psylocke. Double Gwenpool is good. Goes off again. Cool. They got some really big cards. The thing is, they have Pryo going into this. Which is bad, bad for them in this situation because this is why I've been holding on to my Shang-Chi. Feels good to me. I'm pretty sure we win this lane. We're giving up right side. Show me something big. That's something big. Power must be controlled. An example of throwing pride. What is that emote? Is that Gregor Mayo? Mayo Gregor with sunglasses? Victory. And the Shang-Chi value right there. Oh, what a good hit. We hit their claw. We have Zabu on one. Hawkeye on two. Copycat on three. Wicked on four. This is looking very good for us. They need to change Elias on reveal to the fart noise with reverb. I'm okay with that. Make it happen, second dinner. You won't. Snap. I'm snapping on this. We have Wicked on four. We copied their claw. We have Rogue in hand. We have a bunch of arrows in hand.
I'm fine with it. We still have our Wiccan. And they're partially clogged now. Clear for takeoff. And we have to play over on this side. So, knowing that we have to play on this side, let's go Acid Arrow, Marvel Boy, Basic Arrow, Silver Sable. And we'll still have a slot available. And the guns. Ghost Rider pulls back Agatha Harkness and Stature. Now, Shang-Chi wipes that if we pull Shang-Chi. Thank you, Ben Brodif. I will forever pray to thee. Let me do some quick math here. One plus. This is going to get another two, right? Sorry. Plus three. No, we win. Power must be controlled. And we stole their vibranium. Oh, it turned into misery. And then misery turned into stature. This is why I don't play Cersei. Victory. That's literally what happens to me. The number of times that I have been deathlocked or destroyed or just gotten bodied by my own Cersei, it's way too much. What up with James? I think he's in the backyard or he is napping on my bed. This is also a good chance to remind y'all, have you watered yourself today? When was the last time you hydrated, coffee or otherwise? We actually get that on three? We actually get that on three? We actually get that into Goose on three? I feel like this is a Legion gamer. Yeah, this is a Legion War Machine gamer. Which I'm fine with, because I can rogue it away. That's what we're hoping for. Well, I mean, we're gonna shuffle either way. Yeah. I, well, I'm still asking, where's the rogue? There's a Lyoth. The fact that we can Lyoth on this turn, they're going to drop it. They're going to drop it now. Where do you... I think my gut is telling me mid. Play for mid, please. Put War Machine right here, please. Right into this zone right here. Let me absolutely destroy all of your hopes and dreams <sighs> hold up 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 let's <sighs> this is all based on the read war machine We'll take that. Show me rogue. 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 Oh, it's a basic arrow. Now the war machine. Now the war machine. So they can drop infinite. Still, so where's rogue? Rogue, where are you at, girl? I don't think they're going to be able to win every lane. They have yet to move Jeff. They can still move Jeff. I think we got him, though. If they drop Infinite, that's a six power card. Or, sorry, six cost card. Infinite? 
Show me the infinite, please. Wind, aid my hand. Doom rules all. We still got him. Basically, casserole them. Victory. I appreciate the lurks. It is a Monday. I know y'all are uh, doing work things. Again, Safety Blade cooks like always. This deck feels very, very good. Quinjet. What are they? Okay, they're playing RSM. We got an RSM gamer, y'all. I've hit it a couple times today. Well, now that they know that we have the Shang-Chi, which we're going to be holding on to later, we're not going to fill it completely because that would be silly. What if we fill... Hold up. This is going to determine if we stay or go. Beautiful. No notes whatsoever. Yep, yeah, please take all of those. Now, Gregor, why did you f fill their hand with Hulks? Now they are clogged here, and we have a guarantee win of this lane with Shang-Chi. And we put 24 power over what they have, which is huge value for us. That's enough. You win a single lane, that's enough of a reason for a, a snap for me. Tempted to do it now. I rogue dazzler mid, I get hit with the man thing, negative affliction, right? This is why I'm thinking of doing the Shang-Chi now and potentially taking, you think Ajax is incoming? Maybe we hold on to the rogue then. Excuse me? Thank you for watching the video. I hope you got something from it. I really enjoyed playing this list and it comes from a great deck builder. If you were able to watch till the end, it's super appreciated. We're so close to getting our ad revenue. 300 plus more hours and we'll get there. Thanks for watching. If you haven't, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all those things. But if I don't see you for the rest of the week, remember to take care of yourself. Remember to eat food, drink water, take your meds, get enough sleep, and remember the world's better with you in it. I will catch you next time.